people ask me, they're like, oh, how do you become a, an actor? If you want to work in China, you got to do it the Chinese way. Go to the poorest place in China and learn Mandarin. That's what I know. <laughs> Give us something more applicable to a wider... A wider okay. <laughs> My name is Matthew Knowles and I'm an actor. I've had a career in China, in TV and film. China gave me this chance to taste these things. It's led me down this path to discover what I really love doing. Would you describe yourself as a typical person from South Carolina? Yeah, way? typical, you know. We like to ride tractors, and <laughs> we're hunting, and we love football. I was well along the way for my football dream. And then two 330-pound linemen fell on the side of my leg, dislocated my kneecap, and that's when I decided to get out. I came to China originally to do humanitarian work and I fell into acting. Originally I sang Chinese love songs basically. This guy heard me singing in a KTV one day and he goes, hey, like, if I close my eyes, you sound like a Chinese person singing. But I open them and you're this tall white guy. What's going on? You have to come on my show. So I did. And I ended up getting signed by an agent then started part-time acting. How are we doing today? And then full-time acting. So yes, me. This allowed me to start acting in bigger and bigger projects in China. And then I studied acting at Beijing Film Academy in Chinese. It was the first ever non-Asian to study acting there. I learned how to act in a way that really resonates with Chinese people. If you come here and just expect to force your way in, it's not going to work in China. You need to be able to work the way they are used to working and fit in there and learn from them. That's what's going to work. To Wonderful. Uh, uh, Dan has seven intangible cultural heritage. Mm. So those uh, paper making, tea making, and uh, the, 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 the <laughs> Chinese people really connect with the celebrities that they respect. They really believe what they're saying and believe the messages that they're pushing across. What we are doing here is to raise awareness for this new development that Wanda is doing here in Danjai to alleviate poverty in the region. You have to come to China, make relationships with people. Chase your dreams. I think there's more and more opportunity for people who want to take part in the Chinese market. People like you are in a situation where you understand both sides. There's no better place in the world to to be involved in creating new, new things and new projects because of the economy. These are the golden ages for China, and it's only going to get better in the next 50 years.